It's a wicked world, you know. See how they forgot all the good he did and condemned him. It's so unfair. Why do people betray one and other? Why is it so common in our society? Sweetie, mommy is touched. Okay. That was why I wanted you to see this movie over and over again. But guess what? This is merely an adaptation of what really happened to our Lord Jesus. Are you saying he suffered more than the actor on the screen? Mm hmm He did. He did for our salvation. Remember the original sin that you learned in Catechism? How we inherited it from Adam and Eve, our first parents? Now God sent his son to dwell among men and suffered death in the hands of those he cared and loved. He did all of this to save us from the condemnation of death, which Adam and Eve led us into. He did all of this because he loves us. Mom, if Christ did all this, why can't I do the same? In love. Don't talk about this again, Mabel. Sweetheart. Yeah, my angels, it's okay. Daddy is just passing through a trying moment in his business and we all need to understand and pray for him. This Lent, all we need to do is pray, okay? Hmm? Just cheer up. I got some goodies. Ta da! Biscuits for everyone. Just share with your sisters. And someone should come and give me a hand in the kitchen. Oh, honey, you're back. Where's my house? What's the meaning of this? I don't understand. Why 300 naira? I gave you 1,000 naira before I left to the market. Why this? Honey beans are expensive in the market. I had to manage to buy things I used in making soup. I expected at least 400 naira from you and not this. Oh, okay. I used 100 naira in buying biscuits for the children. You, you, you what? Are you out of your mind? They're just kids now. And so what? Don't they eat in this house? Wait, but you know such things it makes them happy, sugar. Who cares about their happiness? Feeding them alone, wouldn't that make them to be happy? Hmm? By the way, let me ask you. How much do you make in this house in the village? Huh? Why can't you use your money to buy that rubbish for them? Why can't you? I will gladly use my money for her, but I don't have it. I don't have it. You don't have I'm it. I'm sorry. You don't have it. I'm sorry, your food is ready. Rubbish! Give me that book. Give, give, give it to me. Just know that you are owing me 100 naira. I'm going to deduct that from our next feeding money. Useless woman. Back from work before starting the road ring. My father is back. He's in the bedroom. You mean he's back and you didn't tell us? <sighs> Why is that acting like he no longer cares? If he cares, he would come to our room to say hi to us and even join us in prayer. Can we not talk about that right now? This is praying time and we need to. And we need to pray as one family. After all, the Bible says a family that prays together stays together. And that was exactly what Father Anthony said in our last Sunday Mass. Daddy is too tired to join us right now, okay? I knew it. 
You know what? Let me go upstairs and see if he can join us. I'll be right back. Please, woman, let me rest. I believe I still pay the house rent. I beg you in the name of God. And for the sake of the kids, just join us in prayer, please. You're not being fair to them and I, your wife. You're not. Do they know what I'm passing through? Do they? Since this week, I've not made any sales, and Easter is fast approaching. Please, leave me alone. Please! I know what you're passing through. But I want to assure you that God will never forsake us. You just have to keep believing and trusting in Him. Please. For how long have I trusted and believed in God? For how long? Yet nothing. To feed you and the kids, I find it very difficult. Are you sure there is God? Are you sure? Of course there is God. There is God and you know it. And with Him, nothing is impossible. He will see us through. He will see us. We will come out of this victorious. You just have to believe. Will you stop this, your God, this, God, that? That's how you get lazy. Even to find a job, you couldn't. All you are good at is praying, praying, praying. We'll see. Did you just say this to me? You want me to say more? Do you want me to say more? No, come and disturb me. Come. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Come Holy Spirit and fill the hearts of the faithful, and enkindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created, and they shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. What is it? My pencil is broken. I need a new one. What were you doing when your pencil broke? I gave my classmates. Just listen to yourself. How could you be so stupid to give your classmate your pencil? Doesn't he have his own pencil? He lost it. He lost it? And in your stupid benevolence, you gave him your pencil of which he broke. And now you're asking me for a new one. Are you crazy? Do you contribute any pen in this house? Do you? Do you know how much a pencil costs now? Do you know what I pass through every day to get money to feed you and your sisters? All you are good at is damaging your things. Now you broke your pencil and you want a new one. What is wrong with you? I'm sorry, Dad. Sorry for yourself. Get out of my sight! What's going on here? What's the problem? I'm thinking about Jesus and how he died for our sake. And for the sake of those people who never cared about him. I wish I was there to save him. You wouldn't have saved him with the large number of soldiers that were there. Or didn't you see them? There were many. It's impossible. I wish Jesus is my father. Of course he is. Mom said he's the father of all. Sometimes I just wish if dad can behave like Jesus. At least for peace to reign in this house. Maybe it's because he hasn't watched the passion of Christ in Luther. So know how to be like Christ. Maybe it is. 
Hey ladies. Off your sets. Emily, what is it? Nothing. I, I just need some lip gloss for my lips. I don't want it to get broken. Okay. I'll get you some Vaseline. Let's go. You're late for school. Support her. I know you support her stupidity. I don't care. I'm not going to waste my money on a careless child. Okay. She's just five years old. And so what? So what? Even an unborn child in the womb knows that things are very difficult in this country. We all need to be conservative. I'm really sorry about what she did. But you can go on and on reminding us how things are hard. We know, and that's why we're praying to get out of this situation. Take us out of what? When you are yet to make an input as a wife in this house. Eh? Well, that reminds me. The interview you went for how far? Is this so <laughs> Can you listen to yourself? This is the seventh interview you've attended, yet nothing. Do you know how much I spent in training you in the university? Is that to do waste? I would have invested that money on something else. You see, my certificates, a total waste. My four years in the university, a total waste. Isn't it obvious? Isn't it obvious? You're a graduate, I'm not. I want you to make a difference. All you good at is every time you ask me to come and pray with you. When you're here to pray yourself out of bad luck. A frock Useless woman. Idiot. Because they're saying that he who finds a wife finds a good thing. Is this a good thing? Useless woman! Maybe we're going to work in there, brother. into this oh I'm sorry okay I'm so sorry please huh? forgive me okay I want to go so you can stop using all these harsh words on me no no, no. I'm sorry okay I'm so sorry okay don't do this okay I'm tired. Okay, before you do that, you have to provide a mother for your kids. And you have to give me all I've spent on you. Do that! Are, are you looking at me? Idiot! We will say Jesus! Oh! Why are you this atlas? Why are you this Ah, God! Are you ready? Yeah, serious. Listen. You're gonna take like this. 
After all, nobody forced you to marry the woman. Mark, meaning what? Meaning what I just said. You need to take life easy. Listen, all of us have problems. And uh, like the economy is, the uh, market is very slow right now. Mm -hmm. So stop taking out your frustration on your wife and your kids. Mark, seriously. You don't understand what I'm passing through in the hands of this woman. What? Ever since I married her, it's from one hardship to the other. In fact, I regret marrying that woman. I know this is the picture you're trying to paint before your kids. Mm -hmm. Right? Mark, to be frank with you, I'm not happy at all. Oh, well said. For God's sakes, stop acting as if there is no God. You have a God in heaven who even gave you a beautiful wife and lovely kids. You need to be grateful to uh, that God. Mark, with all these things I'm passing through, you want me to believe in God? Yes! Spare me that preaching, please. What kind of God do you have? Yes, huh? man. Just need to take it. Okay? Mark, if it's because of this food you are buying me, you are telling me about no, this, your no, God, no, God. No, please, no, please, no. I'll walk no, from no, there. No, 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 that's not it. Uh, Madam, please, how much is our food? This is 750, sir. 750. Yes, sir. Come on, take it. Here, yeah. uh, let me have my chair. Thank you very yeah, much. You're going to take it easy. You're going to take life easy, okay? Girls, are you really, really sure about this? I'm in. I'm in, but I'm afraid. But it's worth trying, right? Why don't you start with me? Then I'll tell you all how it feels. Don't we need a cross to make this room? We don't have a cross, let's just manage the wall. Jesus! What do you think you're doing? Mom, it, it's Juliet's idea. No, Mom, it was idea. Maybe you're the one that brought the hammer. Juliet, just slide. Just break your palms, and that's bad. What were the three of you up to? Mm. Emily! Mm. Mm. The, the truth is that we couldn't stand Christ so far on the cross of Calvary, so we wanted to feel the pain he felt. And you want to nail yourselves? Well, it's a good thing you recognize Christ's death and suffering. But he has paid the price for all of us. We are not supposed to pay anymore. Okay? He died that we may live. But how do we appreciate him, Mom? How? By obeying the Ten Commandments and doing things that pleases him. All right? You just lied. And you know you're not supposed to do that. You ought to live right so his death will not be in vain. Sorry. Let me have the nails. And when does he normally come back? Um, around five or six. But well, sometimes he used to come back late. Um, maybe around one, around one. But anytime I see him. Tell the lazy man I'm not happy with him. And I need the six month house rent by the end of next week. Oh. Or else he will see the other side of me. Please. Okay. Oga lawyer, I will tell him, but oh, please, just be patient, small, with him. I beg of you, please. Next week, or else, I will send him a letter to quit. Oh, no, no, he does not got it to die. Mom, who is that man? And what does he want? He's the lawyer. Nothing really. He just stopped by to greet us. 
Where are your sisters? We need to go to church. Have you people forgotten we have Lenten program today? You're still in the playing. Playing? Playing? I don't know what to have prepared for church. Go and call them Joe. I tell Julia to bring scarf for me. You said he won't be back home on time that he traveled. Mom, you owe God an apology. She's actually right, Mom. We're not supposed to lie in Lenten season. I know. I'm sorry. Can we talk about this some other time, okay? Right now, you need to go to your room and freshen up, okay? While I come and fix dinner. Mom, chop, chop. I want to help you. Same here, Mom. I could be of a great Enough. help. Enough. It's late. Let me just do it myself, please. Just go to your room, okay? Mm. Honey? Honey? Baby? Oh, what is it? Good evening. I'm sorry I didn't prepare food before going to church. Was that the reason I couldn't find any food when I came back? You also said you were not coming back on time. Sorry about that. Um, meanwhile, there was really nothing much in the house. Please, can I get 15 naira to buy sugar? Let me prepare a camel for the children. Why a camel? That's the only thing we have in this house. <sighs> if the children can drink a camel without sugar, let them starve. Honey, they are children now. You know they will not enjoy a camel without sugar. You, do you drink a camel without sugar? Why not? I even enjoy it without sugar. Since when? Please give me 15 naira, Joe. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? Aren't you ashamed of yourself? Ordinary 15 naira you don't have. Me, I don't have it. What is it? So what are we going to eat now? Jesus, Jesus. Ah! 
same time. Mom, I saw myself on the cross and I was being flogged by soldiers. I saw myself being baptized and they started preaching as a dove descended on my head. <laughs> You're joking about this, right? I'm serious, Mom. We all are. Wow. This is really strange. You know what? I don't want you to say this to anyone yet. Okay? We will pray about it. Mom, I want to feel the benches are fell. Same here, Mom. It's okay, girls. You need to go back to bed now. You need to sleep so you can wake up early tomorrow for school. And I don't want you dreaming anymore. Is that okay? Our saints and angels will protect you. You have your sacramentals. Bring them out. This is a sign of Jesus with you. He's protecting you day in, day out. You don't need to be scared. Hmm? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Alright, make room. Let her be in the middle. Go. Why don't you tell him I traveled? I, I couldn't lie to him. Does it matter? It does. I'm a child of God and I can't lie. Will you stop all this your sentimental attitude? When you're expected to act and talk, you won't. If it's to collect money from me, you do that the best. Meaning? He said he'll be here in two weeks to collect his rent. So. <laughs> that won't be a problem. Once he comes, I hand you over to him. You have no use to me. In fact, after that, I'll give him the glass. Meaning? Wilson! Our children's school fees need to be paid. The uniform was damaged. I just managed to fix it. You have to pay their school fees. Where do you expect me to get that money from? Where do you expect me to get that money from? I don't know. But you have to trust in God for once, real thing. Just believe God. Eh? Real thing. You know God is the only solution. This is your attitude. I don't understand. Your clothes is here. I can't continue living this way. No. It's high time I got rid of my responsibilities. Yes, at least let me reduce it a little before I die of heart attack. House rent, school fees, NEPA bills, food, only one person. How can I do all this with the recent economic challenges? It's better I get rid of the kids. I think selling them won't be a bad idea. Maybe. I will start with Mabel or Juliet. Who knows how much they are selling children now? Let me sell some and use the money to train the rest. Even if it's one person I have at the end of the day, I won't mind than suffering in agony. Wow. 
Wow. Look at you. <laughs> What's the problem? Where are you going? To our room, Dad. But I'm not chasing you away. It's not sleepy, Dad. And I'm having cramps. I need to do my homework, so please excuse us. Well, I bought something for you girls. Come and have it. <laughs> this is for you. Thank you, Dad. Thank for you, Dad. you and for you. Thank you, Dad. Thank you. Don't just come here as soon as I Have you seen any market for me yet? He wants photograph. That was not a problem. I will send it now, okay? Your court. Oh, you know what I can do now. I will give you your court. Please, please make sure he's serious, okay? Okay, okay. Third station. Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. A reading from Isaiah chapter 50 from verse 5 to 7. The Lord God has opened my ear and I was not rebellious. I turned not backward. I gave my back to the smiters and my cheek to those who pulled out the board. I did not hide my face from shame and spitting, for the Lord God helps me. Therefore, I have not been confounded. Christ speaks. The God who made the universe and holds it in existence. The God who directs the movement of the cosmos. This God is, as man, too weak to bear a piece of timber. That is the will of my Father. I could not be your model otherwise. If you will be my follower, you also must accept without complaints your human limitation. Lord Jesus, how can I refuse? I willingly accept my weakness, irritation and my moods, my headaches and fatigues, my difficulties in work and hope. I think it's about time we tell Dad about our school fees. I don't think so. Why not? He needs to know we'll be sent out from school because of our school fees. You're right, Emily. We need to tell him. Do you think he's not aware? Mom said she told him, but he ignored her. Don't tell him ourselves. I'm afraid he'll shout at us. I just don't want anything discouraging him from uniting with us. Especially now that he's making attempts. But I was surprised when he prayed with us last night. Let's go talk to him. But you'll be the one to say it, Emily. You know what? Let's pray before we go. plans of the devil shall not work in our family in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Father, Lord, let our Father change his mind to pay our fees in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Father, Lord, no evil plan shall work again in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. so sorry for all I've done to you. I was overwhelmed by the situation of things and I lost my sense of reasoning. I'm truly sorry, please forgive me. You did me no harm. I'm the one who has turned a failure from what you anticipated and I'm truly sorry. Sweetheart, don't say that. You're not a failure. You are my wife and I'm very proud of you. 
I believe if we join hands together, we overcome all these things. Please. I'm so, so sorry. Okay? I forgive you. But the kids, they need your apology more. Because they've lost, they've lost the touch of who a father truly is to them. Oh, okay, I will do that. But first and first, sweetheart, it has not been easy for me. And you know that. I know. I know. But we need to still believe in God because He will keep sustaining and providing for us. He's our shepherd. We shall not want. Or the only thing, the only way we can survive is by praying together. As a family, will overcome this financial situation. Sweetheart, that's the truth. Thank you very much. Sweetie, I bought something for you. Oh, you did? Yes. <clears throat> Thank you. Are you not drinking yours? We forgot what? to our fasting. Oh, 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 oh. <sighs> <laughs> What? I need bono. A fasting. And you are stopping me of my rights. Come on, the fast will soon be over. Hmm? <sighs> I can't wait, sweetie. <laughs> Today, we dad, we are sent out of school until our fees were paid. Oh no, they would have given me more time now, huh? But not to worry, I'll pay your fees as soon as possible, okay? Thank you, dad. Just cheer up, smile, smile. Mm -hmm. That's my girls, Mabel. Take me out when you get back from work. <laughs> Take you out. It's a lie. I thought you were even going to say something reasonable. You don't believe me. You're such a liar. Emily, don't say that. I don't know if she's telling the truth. I'm serious. Don't believe me. What until Dad get back from work. But what about us? I don't know. You said earlier me. I want to go see that. She has gone away. Are you guys still worried? I promise next time, okay? But that that's unfair. Yes, we're sisters and we're supposed to go out together. I know, but... But what, Dad? I'm the senior and you should take me out, not them. That's unfair. Emily, I sure you're going to make heaven. You want Dad to leave me, I'll take you out. Of course. Am I not your senior? Yeah, it's okay, girls. It's okay. I've had you. I'll take Mabel out just for today. By next weekend, I will take you out, okay? I promise from my heart. What's going on here? Uh, well, sweetie, I wanted to take Mabel out just for today, but they want me to take all of them out. But I promise I'm going to take them out by next weekend. Come on, sweeties. Cheer up. You know Daddy is not financially buoyant at the moment. Let's try and understand with him. Hmm? He's trying to make all of us happy. But we need to be patient with him. Please. Alright? Cheer up. Enjoy yourself. 
Cheer up, cheer up. Hmm? Put a spy on your face, please. Okay. <laughs> and the whole world. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. coming out. Everything's all right. I hope so too. Oh, God. Maybe we should just pray for them. Go and grab your rosary. Where are you? Yes, I'm Andy Joshua. Yes, it's Wilson speaking. Yes, I'm there. Ah, this guy just called the call on me. What's that? You think you can play on me? Not fun. <laughs> Look at her little sis pretending. I'm not pretending. Dad took me to an awful place and suddenly he got angry and brought me back home. You mean Dad brought you back home from that place without even buying you a single thing? Not even... <laughs> he didn't and I'm sad. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I thought that has changed. I thought so too. I don't believe that. Don't you think we should go and ask him? What do you say? I think mom is the best person to ask. I was even hoping for some ice cream when you get back. What a disappointment. Let's go ask her. Yeah, right.
Anthony. Are you all right? Do I look sick to you or what? I'm sorry, but you've just been moody since you came back with Mabel. And she said you didn't buy her anything. And so? Will you beat me because of that? Will you? Why are you sounding harsh all of a sudden? Did I say anything wrong? Woman, allow me! I'm thinking like a man! And you're here disturbing me! Get out of my sight, please! We're ready for Stations of the Cross. Remember you promised to lead us today. Get out of my sight! Get out of my sight! Stations of the Cross will go again, bar! Since you started paying that, what has he done for us? Nothing! It's like I keep diving deep into poverty! Stations of the Cross, my foot! I don't care. Stop disturbing me about money this morning. Please, How can you leave this house without... No, don't you want me to rest in this house? Well, you can't just leave this house without dropping money for food for the children and I. Eh? How do you want us to feed? I said I don't care. I don't care. Uh, you want me to go and steal? You want me to go and steal? Find a way to feed these kids. Oh, you know I don't earn money anywhere. You know. Eh? I can't tend for this family on my own. Please. No matter how little, I will manage. You know how we manage. Do you know you are useless? Do you know that? I said I don't have money. What I have is just 100 naira. I'm using it for my transportation to the shop, okay? <laughs> ah, for the children. <laughs> this is, this is... <laughs> Mom, Dad is shouting again. I don't know. I don't know what else to do. He did not even drop money for food. What is all this now? Eh? That's unfair, Mom. Do you know the road to his shop? He's at block 4, Ultimate Plaza. Why do you ask and what will you be going there to do? We have to go to that shop to tell any of his neighbors or anyone that cares to listen to us that we are starving and we need food. We need mm -hmm. food. Mom, no, please don't answer no to this. Hell no. You're not. You're not going there. You know he'll be very mad if we do such a thing. Listen, I promise you, I will not allow any of you to starve. Okay? Just settle down. I'll make a call. that bad that he cannot feed his family anymore it has it has do you know he no longer pays the house rent the children's school fees ah we're just waiting for the landlord to come and evict us the lawyer was here the other day oh my god mm. the husband needs serious prayers he does oh he does Got the wheels in, I'm married. Do you know that a few days ago he just transformed to the loving, you know, wheels in now. Yeah. Then all of a sudden he just he went back to a weekend. He's heartless. Oh, I don't know what to do. Anymore. And these kids, they don't deserve to suffer like this. They don't. They don't. You're too young. You see why I'm begging you to get me a job? My dear, I'm trying. You have to get me a job, oh, because I want to take care of my children by myself. I can't, you know, I can't. I know, I'm trying. Okay, you know. Trust me, don't think. 
think I'm not doing anything about it. I'm trying. Okay? Imagine, how would we have fed if you, if you did not bring this food, yam, yeah, oporoko for me and my children? How? How? I know it's late, but these children are too young. They can fast six to six, ten days, but they can know. Okay, there's food now. <laughs> Don't worry, okay? I know very soon how they wipe your tears. Yeah, hey, Jamia. You should dry my tears. I'm tired of crying, soaking my pillow day in, day out. Are you tired? It's okay. You will wipe them soon. Okay? I'll continue doing my best. But please, don't forget. Tears may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Okay? It's okay. And by the way, where are the kids? You said they're out from school. Me. I was looking for them before you came. Juliet! Let me go and look for them. Thank you for all of this. Okay. Juliet! Come and greet your auntie or oh, pack our rice. Oh, Juliet! You don't say, you stop saying your wife not going to feel beat you up. Now nah, I just see your face say, I don't they ask whether or not she will beat you. Mark, I know they're in the mood to crack all these jokes. I beg, leave me alone. Uh, because you know they think about tomorrow. They worry yourself about tomorrow. Well, you don't even know whether you go see tomorrow. Hmm. Mark, you won't kill me tomorrow, Abby. You won't kill me tomorrow, Abby. <laughs> I mean, come on that level, John. What did I go, what did I go get if I kill you? I mean, I leave that level. But I, what I want to know is, why are you going to torture yourself? Torture yourself, then make yourself get BP. Where you know even you never even reach 57. Yeah? Stop now, find man like you. Come up from that level. Mark, hmm? I want to ask you one question. What do you that? <laughs> How many children do you have? Yeah. Can't question me that now. I get one. <laughs> Mark, you have only one child. Mm -hmm. And you want to come here, can't advise me a bit? Come off of my shop, I beg! Oh, because I get only one picking, I no feed, I no qualify, Abi. You no qualify, Abi. Ah. I beg, leave my shop, leave my anyway, shop. Anyway, I just try to make me and my friend talk. Oh. Since you don't need my advice. Mm, I go, go. Hey, that's a uh, fan. I need to collect one more so that next week I will pay you. <laughs> you never bring the money of the one where you buy. You want to collect another one, Abi? You want to send me go village, Abi? Mark, leave my Maybe shop. so now. Leave my shop, Abi. Okay, now, nah, no beg. problem. No, I'll keep your thing. I think say you no. carry money, come. No, no, no. My chairman, half an hour. I beg, when are you paying me my balance? Three months time, kwa. Mba no no. I need the money right now, na bikonu. Oh? Mba, I need it now. Please. Ah ah. You can just call the call on me. Hi. 
kind of word is this? God, what is wrong with my destiny? Why is misfortune following me? Just look at the golden opportunity I had of selling off one of my useless children and using the money to expand my business. How it crashed, I don't know. Suddenly, the buyer is no longer interested and nobody is indicating interest anymore. How will I survive this? God, should I join Amrabri? No way. It's too dangerous. How do I get out of this financial mess? Even Luthi is not favoring me. How can I raise money to do this? Hi. I'm so tired and fed up. Wilson, we really need to come up with a way of solving this problem. Okay, what's this now? You know, phone stop, stop. Please let me have my phone. What stop are you it, Rita. Too? I need to call your mom. <laughs> I need to contact your mother since you don't want to call her and tell her what's going Let on. Let me have my phone. It's not a good idea. I told you already. I don't want to get my mom involved in this. I don't want to bother her. You don't want to bother her. You don't want to bother her. You're here suffering. I almost got yourself killed by some stupid man that cannot take full responsibility of his family. What's wrong with you, Rita? My husband is not stupid. Oh, he's not only just stupid. He's a bloody coward. I don't know what he has done to you. That will make you stay here and get yourself killed. Wilson is my cross. I will carry my cross this Lenten season with Christ. Just to catch you. I will. I have faith that one day he will change. Good luck with your faith. But I cannot stand by and watch you get killed. You have to do something about this. Okay. The only something that we can do about this is to pray. I need you to pray for my husband. Wow. Tell God, beg God to enlarge his cause. Let him make him rich. Because poverty, poverty is the only reason he's acting this way. You know we'll see him. I'm actually, he used to be I'm like so this. mad at you. You need to start using your brain right now. I'm not happy with you. Start using your brains while you still can. I'm out of here. Uh, okay. Okay. God. Talk to me now. What is what are you up to? What is all this? Don't you have eyes? I'm packing. Packing? Oh, you want to take the clothes to the dry cleaner? Because I don't understand. You've been folding your clothes since and you're not giving me any reasonable answer. I'm leaving. Leaving? Yes. To where? Hmm. And why are you leaving? I'm leaving this house for you and those stupid kids. Wilson. So who will I live with? Who will I be living here with if you leave? They are in father, of course, because I'm not their dad. You're not serious. You're living, you're going nowhere. We'll see. We'll see. You're going nowhere. You're going are you telling me? Are you telling me? me? You cannot abandon me in this house and leave. For what? Am I the one that did I gave birth to those children alone? You're not leaving me. Give me my back. Give me me. What is wrong with you? Sorry for keeping you waiting. No My useless problem. wife what? No problem, no problem, okay. no problem, no problem. Yes, I have finally given your 
your, 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 your option, your decision, your thoughts. Yeah. But I want to ask you one question. Yeah, Chief. Obviously, you can. Ah, Chief. Have oh. you made up your mind? Chief, I'm ready to do anything, Chief. I want to be like you now. Ah, your I want problem to drive is <laughs> over. Ah, Chief, Chief. Your financial challenges is over. Chief, Chief. Let's go immediately. Yeah, okay. Let us not waste time. Okay. Time out of your Hey, Chief. I will take you somewhere. Even though this is Uganda, Chief, take media, take media. Your family will know that you exist. Yes, Chief. That's his bag. He has packed it, ready to leave. He can't be serious. I still don't believe, Mom. You mean Dad is running away from us or what? He said he's tired of living with us, that he is better off single. Let's hide his bag. Are you seriously saying that to me, Bill? Even when he's made up his mind to leave? Mom, what do you think? Listen, I don't want him to go either. I think. I agree with Mabel. Let's hide his bag. <sighs> How do I convince my wife to follow me where she'll be sacrificed? It's really going to be difficult, considering the fact that she's mad at me right now. And I don't think she will agree to go out with me again. Do I arrange for her kidnap? I don't mind sacrificing her head, as long as I get the money I'm seeking for. I need to survive this hardship, yes! How am I going to convince her to follow me on a date, after all I said to her, and after my actions towards her? I need this money, and I'm ready to do whatever it takes. I need to enjoy like Ruben, yes! God of mercy and compassion, look with pity upon me. Father, let me call the Father, this night should Jesus Lord, Thy hands on mercy, let me not employ in vain all my sins and now detest them, never will I will sin again. devil's plan. Okay? Now get on your knees. Let's pray. Mm. 
the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Prayer to St. Michael. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebook him, we humbly pray. And do that, O priest of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell. Satan and other evil spirits who patrol throughout the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Holy Mother of God, protect us. Holy Mother of God, save us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Oh, sweetie, thank you so much. See what I'm proud of you. Hospital to leave there. But they've refused. I decided to let them be. But what exactly is the problem? What did the doctor say? They're still running a series of tests. I don't know. But I feel this is a mysterious attack. <laughs> mysterious. <laughs> I've given him some medications to calm the pain. I'm just confused. I think this is actually a spiritual problem. If it's not a medical problem, then it's spiritual. I think you need to contact Father Damien. He will have a solution. I believe he will. Okay? Okay. But then I'll have to rush to the parish house immediately. Please do that. I can't watch Wilson go no. through so much pain. Despite how he treats me and the children, he's still my husband and I love him. Mm -hmm. I'll do whatever I can to save him. It's okay. Okay? You okay? <laughs> Don't worry. I'll check back on you very soon. On my way back on, from work, I'll check on you guys, okay? Alright. All right. Let me just feed them and I'll go okay. to the parish house. Alright. Thank you. Sister Rita, 
countries, may you people allow just a little while. So you have a confession. Heavenly Father, we bless your holy name for there is no God like thee. King of heaven, we call upon you this minute. Let your spirit come down and saturate this place. Jehovah, I present your son. Mr. Wilson, let your healing fall upon him now. I pray in the name of Jesus. Have only Father take control of this body. And it's healing from above. Let it hit you. I pray. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. In the name of Jesus Christ. Open healing. Power of God now released. Enter. Receive your will. Receive your will. Receive your will. Pray in the name of Jesus. Let healing from above hit you. I command by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let healing. Enter. Be healed. Be healed. I command you to be healed in the name of Jesus. forgive their sins and heal their land. Sister Rita, our Lord and personal Savior Jesus Christ just healed you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank uh, Brother you. Wilson, Father, you have to make peace with your family. Father, I have wronged both heaven and earth. My lips are heavy, and I don't know where to start. It's okay, sweetie. We're your family and we love you. So whatever it is, we won't judge you, we won't condemn you. Okay? Sooner are you sure? Okay. First of all, I have to start by apologizing to Mabel. I tried selling her into slavery. Jesus. The attempt failed when the person that was supposed to buy her disappointed me. I'm so, so sorry, sweetheart. Please. I was so desperate and frustrated. I didn't know what else to do. Could that fine table buy ice cream for me? 
I was so desperate. I had to resort to reach you. I was told to bring you to a ritual circle. Jesus. Yes. I had already convinced you for an outing before I was struck down by this partial stroke. Sweetheart, I'm sorry. I didn't know what I was doing. Please. Please. Please, sweetheart. I'm sorry. I don't know what came over me, please. I'm so, so sorry. What did I ever do to you? Not How could you do this? I'm sorry, sweetheart. You did nothing to me, please. I'm so, so sorry, please. She's telling us. You will me to do I'm sorry, please. She's telling you have to forgive him. Please. Forgive me, please. Please. No, Father, I can't. How could I forgive a man who wanted to use me for sacrifice? After everything I've been with him, Father, I don't know. Let's go, no, 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 no,